Hi everyone, welcome to my film review for The Girl With All The Gifts. First of all, I just want to say I like this film. Right from the very opening scene, you're kind of brought in. It kind of grabs you right from the beginning because you're thinking, what the fuck is going on? Right from the very, very beginning scene. And it kind of doesn't let go. Once it's got you, it keeps hold and doesn't let you go. Now this was a zombie film with a slight... Uh, difference because other zombie films uh, have made uh, zombies using like viruses or bacteria or radiation or whatever. This one they use fungus to infect people so you've got fungal spores and you can get bitten and then you get infected the same way and, and you turn pretty quickly into a zombie. Uh, it's not like the film um, I did a review for the film Maggie a while ago of Arnold Schwarzenegger and that zombie film it takes them a couple of weeks to transition into a zombie whereas in this one it's a completely different process and it takes a couple of minutes and it is quite good it's not too gory um, you do see you know people getting bitten and eaten and stuff but it's not really the main driving force of the film it's not they didn't go out the way to say okay this is going to be a gore fest although there is some um, graphic scenes in there, they don't focus too much on them, it is quite heavy on the story and it is a good story, I actually liked it uh, quite a lot and um, I didn't see the ending coming, I really didn't, um, looking back on it now with hindsight the clues were there so there may be some of you that can kind of anticipate how it's going to end but I didn't and that's the thing I like about films. If you've watched uh, my other film reviews you'll see that is my biggest bugbear is like halfway through the film or not even halfway through the film I kind of know how it's going to end and then when I get it right I, that really disappoints me I don't like knowing how the film's going to end and with this one I didn't see the ending coming so that was nice uh, the whole way through was set up um, it's like they show a little scene and you think it's going to go one way and then it goes the other way and then they move on to the next scene and the pace is good and it keeps moving on and on. There was one scene in the film where they're in London, they're walking through all the zombies and they're trying to be really quiet and not draw attention to themselves. And that scene reminded me of Shaun of the Dead where the characters are walking through it. I was half expecting to see them coming the other way. Um, you know, as they're walking this way, I was expecting to see, you know, um, what's his name? Simon Pegg and his crew walking the other way but uh, that didn't happen and I was when this happened and they're sneaking through I was thinking oh god I hope it doesn't just turn into like a mass you know crazy scene like it does in Shaun of the Dead and it doesn't it goes in a completely different direction I won't say what happens because that will spoil it a bit and one well, of the main character in the film is a character called Melanie and she is played by uh, I'm probably going to pronounce this completely wrong so forgive me um, Senia Nanua, it's S-E-N-N-I-A-N-A-N-U-A. -N -N -A -N -A. Anyway, she's only 12 years old and she's like the main character of the film. She is the girl with the many gifts um, as the title of the film. And I think she did an absolutely outstanding role in the film. Her acting was really good right from the beginning. She's in the first scene and she's in the last scene. She makes it all the way through the film and I thought that her role was really good in the whole film, her acting was good and she had a lot of lines to learn because she's the main character and so she delivers those lines really well and I've got to say you know she acted her part well and so I can't fault her so I think she's going to go on to some good things uh, so one to look out for still pretty much unknown according to her IMDB she's only been in two films so but I predict she's going to be in some other things as well um, film is set in England uh, they set out, start out in the countryside and they work their way into London they're trying to get to uh, the base camp because where they are they're at a military compound and they need to leave that compound and go somewhere else and it all, you know, story unfolds and it gradually one by one things are explained and, you know, what's going on, who everyone is and what their part in the story is. 
and you think the story's going to go in one direction, you think it's going in this way, it's the whole point of the some, some characters, the whole purpose is to bring the story in one direction, and does it end up in this direction, or does it end up in this direction, well, who knows, well I've already said I didn't see the end coming, so... I'm trying to do a film review without spoilers. It's really hard to do um, reviews on some films without spoiling it. But generally, as zombie films go, it is really good. As I said, it's a fungus um, which spreads. It is a very gripping film, as I said earlier. It does kind of grip you right from the beginning, doesn't let go. And all the way through, I was thinking, I want to know what happens next. I want to know what happens next. I want to know what happens next. You know, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm getting bored of this. I wasn't getting distracted by what was going on in the cinema even though some idiot did leave their phone turn on it ran halfway through um, that but um, even that didn't act too much as a distraction for me I, I was wanted I was just focused on the film all the way through I wanted to know what happened there because I wanted to see what would happen to the characters so it kind of got me all the way through and and even though when it kind of goes in different directions you that okay you know this is a good film. I liked it. I can't fault it. Actually, I can fault the audio. For some reason, they thought it'd be a really good idea to have the music just get really, really, really loud. This is one thing that, that does bug me about a lot of films. When the dialogue is all at this level, volume, and then the audio comes in like up here somewhere, off the scale, and it's like... That's, that's not good. Sometimes the sound was just too loud and I kind of get they're trying to bring over the like the tension and stuff. It didn't need to be that loud. It's like, you know, if it's late at night, you're watching a film and you don't want to wake the other people in the house up. So you've got it at one level so you can hear it, but then you have to keep turning it down so that the music doesn't wake everyone up and then you have to turn it up again so you can hear what they're saying. It would be that kind of film if you're trying to watch it at night on your own at home. Um, it's not so bad in the cinema because you know you, hopefully everyone is awake already but there have been many films like you know you constantly have to turn the volume up and down up and down you know turn it up so you can hear it turn it down so you don't wake everyone up. It's that, it's that kind of film it's not the kind of film you can watch in a house at night while people are trying to sleep unless of course you've got headphones on but then you'd probably just burst your eardrums because if you've got headphones right there and then the audio is just kind of... So yeah, that that is my only bugbear is the audio. Um, but it had characters I liked, had characters I cared about. That for me is important to actually care about the characters in the film because if you don't care about the characters in the film then you're not going to care about the film. You don't care what happens to them and you're just wasting your money. Um, but this one you know, even um, at the start, there's a, there's an army sergeant, and I didn't like him at first. But even as the film went on, you know, you you got to, I got to like him, and and everyone's doing their thing. They they the way that the reason they're doing the like what they do and the reason they are why they are is obviously the circumstances. You know, the world is falling apart. So yeah, I really liked it. Um, I could go into detail about the plot, but that will spoil it for anyone is watching it. I mean, I only basically know what I know based on... I basically only knew what I knew based on the trailer. So I went in... Um, I wasn't too sure about it from the trailer. I thought the trailer looked quite good, but I was thinking, oh, it's just going to be another zombie film. You know, I've seen zombie films before. You know, I've seen, you know, things like World War Z, Maggie, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, but this one does take it in a bit of a different direction. So I think when they made it, they must have realised, you know, all all these zombie films kind of go in the same direction. So they're going to go in a slightly different direction, which is, I, I like that. So, yeah. Highly recommend it. Go and see it. Good film. Can't fault any of the casting. I think the casting is good all the way through. The acting is good. Everything about it is good. It's just the audio. That's my only bugbear. When the, the, the music, or it's not really music. It's just kind of a sound effects over the top, just to emphasize dramatic moments. But it's like well, you know they're dramatic moments. You're watching it. You can see this is a dramatic moment. But yeah, that's my only criticism of it really. Other than that, I actually thought it was a very enjoyable film. So go see it. That is my review for the girl with all the gifts. And all right, I. 
Um, check out my channel for older film reviews. I've got loads of other stuff on here. Some of the stuff I do is quite serious and some of the stuff I do is quite frankly ridiculous and I'm too old to be doing shit like that but I do it anyway. And lots of other film reviews as I mentioned so go check them out. And if you like this, please subscribe. That will make me love you forever. And thanks for watching. Bye.